Jaya, gorgeous beings. The topic for this video is what is the Galactic Federation? Um, you know that I'm all about galactic evolution and so on. So the, the, um, the question that you might have right now when it comes to, uh, to this concept or this idea is what is going on when it comes to alien life forms visiting the earth, this galactic grid, everything that I'm talking about here when, uh, when it comes to, um, you know, to our cosmic or galactic evolution. So, Galactic Federation, imagine that we are not alone in this galaxy. Imagine that we have thousands or millions of human-like races populating different planets and different star systems and, and so on, right? It means that the galaxy is really packed with life forms, human life, human-like life forms. And imagine that some of these life forms, some of these civilizations, some of these races living on other systems or other galaxy or, you know, other planets in this galaxy, they are two million years ahead of us, that they are much more evolved than us, that they are able to communicate, telepath with us, that they are inspiring the evolution of the planet and humankind, and they have even been seeding our human life a long time ago. A little bit like us, you know, we go to Mars and now we plant, start planting some seeds and then eventually you plant some seeds that are um, artificial intelligence and then you implant this artificial intelligence into life forms and then eventually these life forms start, start expanding and creating civilization and they have this urge to evolve, to adapt and eventually they become really clever and smart and within within a million years you have something that could look like a completely new species, a completely new race uh, that might not be human-like but that in some respect might be much more evolved than, than we are. So back to Galactic Federation, imagine that all these beings have some form of governing body, okay, that they are linked with each other, the ones that are really evolved and that we are part of this galactic system. And so, you know, the, the, the word federation feels a little bit like scary because there is almost like a military connotation to it. And, um, you know, when you look at Star Wars and Star Trek and other science fiction movies, you know, sometimes you have this, this vision about this being really military-like with lots of fighting going on and the, the, the light fighting with the darkness and, and so on. And in my um, opinion or in my experience, what I feel might be going on is that there is simply an energetic governing body that is not necessarily in the form of some people sitting in an office and making decisions, okay? It might be much more complex and much more refined than that. The reason why we cannot conceive right now what this looks like when, when it comes to, um, to, uh, to yeah, to the, the, the governing body itself, because we, we are still trapped within human-like forms, you know, with military power and uh, governing bodies and some aspects of society rebelling and so on. So there is lots of friction and lots of conflict. Now imagine that there is a system out there when... <coughs> Sorry. When it comes to uh, the the organization of the, the of our galaxy, that is that is much more fluid than what we can imagine. That there is flow, there is harmony, that there is love and respect between the different races, and every now and then there is something that needs to be shifted in the matrix of or the the, the galactic grid, and then uh, a simple impulse in the design is going to change things. I mean. Um, imagine how fast we're going right now. Imagine where we will be as human race two million years from now. Maybe we will have populated like 20, 30, 50 different systems, planets or, or solar systems and we will be like spreading across the galaxy through our telepathic and um, you know, energetic abilities. Maybe we will have transferred part of our consciousness to machine-like or robot-like that don't, that are no longer connected with our original organic origins. You know, the, 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 the chances or the, the possibilities of evolution are so vast. And, um, and so it's simply a matter of kind of trying to tune in and imagine what, okay, what if um, there are 
thousands or millions of human-like races without even touching on the angelic forces and gods and goddesses, but just when it comes to human-like races and that those races are populating the galaxy, um, is there any chance that those races are communicating with each other and creating some form of uh, united um, <laughs> galaxy, nations, you know, yes, of course, it's within, within what we can conceive. Now, do I have any scientific proof to prove that? Of course not. It's again the same thing. This is intuitive research, okay? We are using the, the power of our mind, imagination, download, tr truth, what feels, what feels right and aligning ourselves with that. Why? Because the moment you are getting prepared for that and then suddenly alien life forms come and appear into your field, whether they come really at, as external beings or they come from within as a revelation, an inner revelation, you know, through telepathic and energetic resonance activation. <laughs> you think that, uh, you know, that, that alien life, life forms will come as a visual experience, but very often, you know, for most people, it's an internal experience. It's an internal mystical experience of like, wow, I'm feeling something when I close my eyes. And because it's an energetic resonance that is happening, <laughs> okay? It's like, this is, my, my guess is that this is probably like how we are waking up to, to this idea. Most, most of the people who are in alignment with that, and if you didn't have those kind of experiences, for you, life is just like, there is life on this planet, this is it, you know, and you haven't been exposed to any form of, of insight or mystical experiences concerning that, then you go like, wow, this is crazy stuff. I, I have absolutely no frames and no experience to be able to relate to that. And that's, you know, that's fine. That's okay. Again, uh, if you are tuning into it and realize, okay, there must be some form of governing body or system that is organizing all that so that we all work in coherence. Yes, that makes sense. So when we use the term uh, galactic federation, you know, I use the term galactic grid, you know, it's some form of hierarchy system where um, all that, all those forces are being organized with each other in the form of a vast consciousness system. And we as human race, uh, we are probably already part of it. There might be some human beings who have been trained to be in relationship or in connection with those sources of highly evolved human-like alien life forms and who are transmitting codes and transmitting and activating certain parts of, of our beings. You know, very often, you know, you might imagine that, for instance, um, high-ranking um, officials in our governments might be in contact directly and they are getting the insights and they go like, well, you cannot talk about that publicly because the world would simply freak out. We're not ready for the full disclosure, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. So once we start expanding in that field, it's like it becomes really mind-blowing and uh, it might be too much, you know, too much to consider all that. And a simple um, way to close yourself from it is just to ridicule, to be like, oh, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> Crazy Shiva, you know, having some form of idea. But for lots of you who are watching these videos, you know, especially in the spiritual circles, in the people who are, you know, meditating or activating or conscious community, so on, I say those things and go like, yeah, that sounds like a possibility. It's a possibility. It's one of the possible things that might be happening. And for those who are even, uh, you know, teaching further into that field, you go like, um, yeah, actually, I've been invited in some chambers or some spaceship in the Galactic Federation command centers where I have been exposed to a visual experience of what this is through my dreams or through revelations because I have psychic abilities and I have been exposed to visions of about how this works. A little bit like in the movie Contact when this woman is taken through this wormhole and then eventually accessing a direct holographic representation contact with an angelic force or another human-like uh, civilization who says, yeah, I came in the form of your father to show you what... Um, who you as human beings are. So there is lots of beauty in it and lots of possibilities. And uh, so if you're opening yourself, opening your heart, opening your being to these possibilities, you know, there's a tremendous amount of potential in, and beauty behind it. Um, yeah, what's your experience? You know, where are you at in this evolution? Does that sound like completely crazy? And you're like, oh my God. <laughs> because there is no scientific proof, there is no visual proof 
for it or you are like yeah that makes total sense to me yeah i believe in that i've been encountering energies or having experiences that i can totally relate to what you're describing shiva so post in the comments let me know how you feel uh, about it and um, we're on the right track you know lots of beauty is coming our way Gorgeous galactic federation beings, we invite you to come now into planet Earth and guide our steps even more. It's time for deepening of our contact and our synergetic activation and connection with um, all these beings and force that surround us. And if you have been, I believe that you have been guiding human evolution since the beginning of time, that we have been seated on this planet and... Uh, I want to send a message out that a lot of us are acknowledging this vibration, acknowledging these frequencies, help us tune in, help us to, to discover the tools to be in energetic resonance with whatever is going on beyond the limits of this planet. How does that sound for a prayer? An invocation. I love you. I'll see you soon.